back to another review and today I have the Nano PCT4 single board computer from Feldy Elac. It's based on the Rockchip RK3399 SOC. This board it's like the Raspberry Pi, it has 4 GB of RAM, 16 GB of EMC storage, EMC chip which you can uh, basically store all your data and also load the operating system from and also you have a micro SD card option of course which you can use to load the operating system files but it's a lot fa uh, slower so I'll cover all the interfaces of this board and what you can buy so basically this uh, board doesn't come with any case so if you buy one this one is the default pay uh, case it's kind of an open type case from all sides it's open it's not closed if you need one you should use a 3d printer or design one for yourself it's not a must have accessory but it's okay it looks nice also on the upper cover you have also for a, an extra fan if you want to buy one and then use so I removed the cover to show you how the board looks like. So you have a passive heatsink. I'm not if I'm not sure if it's included in the default package, but I'll get back to it in a second. So you can see here you have two uh, holes and uh, screws here, which goes against the PCB for extra uh, tightening so you get better heat conductivity uh, between the chip and the heatsink so it's a passive heatsink I recommend buying an, a better one with uh, much higher fins so but you need to consider the height of the cover upper cover so that's an option I recommend buying a different heatsink of course you can check out a uh, many heatsinks uh, at aliexpress.com they have uh, many types but you need to check the distance between the holes for the screws so it will fit well so this board comes with a pair of antennas very simple flexible wire type antennas I recommend replacing them buying a different one so one antenna is for the Bluetooth I think and the second is for the Wi-Fi so that's for the antennas also included in the default package so let's see here you have a bunch of interfaces here GPIO interface you have a dual cameras interface on the board so you can connect this board to external cameras and also let's start with the side okay here we have a display port like uh, HDMI but it's a display port so you can play 4k uh, video basically work with two displays two screens let's start with the back so on the back side you have the connection for the power supply unit this board uses a, a 12 volts 2 amp power adapter you need to buy it it's not included with the package a gigabyte ethernet usb type 3 analog port i think uh, only for the uh, audio but maybe also for video i'm not sure hdmi version 2 2.1 a pair of usb uh, version 2 so basically you have three usb ports on this, on this side you have a few buttons, think power and reset sorry one of them is the reset button for sure the power is here on the front okay so that's for the interfaces let's switch to the back side so here you have an IO receiver here if you can see okay you also have an option to add a, an SSD card here through the PCI Express uh, socket here so you can basically expand 
the storage space. You have a 16 gigabyte EMS, EMMC chip, of course, but if you need more, you can buy one uh, card online. Again, you can check out LAExpress.com. There are a few models here that should fit with this uh, socket. So that's for the board and it's pretty nice so I recommend checking it out and I'll see you in the second part of this video where I'm going to show you how Ubuntu works with this board using a very old monitor I have so see you next time and thanks for watching bye Welcome back to the second part of this video where I'm showing you how this uh, NanoPi PCT4 works under Lubuntu Linux distribution. So right now it's installed on my EMMC chip, on the 16 gigabyte EMMC chip and I'm going to show you how the system works. Right now the temperature of the board is 40-41% without any extra loading on the CPU. So the case is open, it's not closed and the temperature is about 41 degrees as you can see right now. And right now this board is connected to a very old uh, computer, uh, sorry, monitor. So you can use a very old monitor to connect to the board and sh it should work. I use an uh, HDMI to uh, VGA converter plug and it should work, works for me. So that's for the display, you can use a very old one, cheap one. So let's see what apps you have here. Basically you have LibreOffice that's pre-installed which loads pretty okay, pretty fast. I'll try to open something, let's see here. So it works okay. I think you need a better cooling, so I recommend replacing the heat sink. So that's for the office. Uh, there are also a few apps I've also installed here. such as this media player, of course. System monitor, let's open it and I'll show you the resource here. So you can see the number of CPUs. And how much memory I'm using right now. Right now I'm using uh, 270 8 megabytes of RAM from a total of 3.1 gigabyte of RAM so I'm not using much resources here file system information that's uh, the path to the EMMC chip device you can see here so right now I have about one is sorry 10 gigabyte of free space on the chip of course I can load the operating system files from an, a micro SD card. So that's for the system information. What else can I show you? Wi-Fi also, Bluetooth are uh, working. Right now I'm connected uh, through a Wi-Fi connection. So you can see all the access points and also the neighbors. Uh, access points what else can I show you more you also have an option to control the monitor refresh rate sorry not this one that's the system monitor monitor setting here so I change the resolution and the refresh rate also and it works pretty good with this very old display it's a good solution if you need a small uh, workstation you don't need to invest too much money you buy a used one monitor and a plug to convert from the 
VGA to HDMI another media player here let's go to the internet internet browsing also works pretty okay I think right now I'm connected to Wi-Fi network and it loads pretty decent I think and CNN website is pretty heavy and it loads okay so basically the experience is good again I recommend uh, replacing a better heat sink with this board uh, let's check out more information of course there is an option for the ethernet connection also works I've checked it so right now I'm on uh, 43 44 degrees with a non heavy workload and also options here for customizing the look of the distribution software updates so no my no lags here but I think uh, a better heat sink will improve the performance So works okay, recommend this board. Here you have some lags here, but again I think it's because maybe with a better cooling it should work. And this CPU is a six core CPU, best and work chip of course information about the disks and SD card reader so you can see here no external devices are connected so Pi, a user and a password Pi get you in to the desktop environment package manager so that's it and I hope you enjoyed my quick overview of this uh, device thanks for watching and bye